actors have performed, cameras rolled for this man in England, Africa, Italy, in Mexico, in Greece, around half the world. But now he has come home, back to Hollywood, to plot a murder. Highly specialized work, but Robert Aldrich has considerable experience in such matters. He is a member in good standing of the Screen Directors Guild. He has a dozen successful pictures to his credit. His stars are Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. The mood he must create, bizarre, offbeat. The atmosphere charged with unexpected emotions. The scene, an Italianate villa in a once fashionable section of Los Angeles. A house heavy with memories of fame the home of the Hudson sisters, both stars of the golden age of Hollywood. Its halls, once crowded with the bright, the beautiful, and the celebrated, now echo only to hectic whispers. The insistent call of a buzzer better left unanswered. A telephone that has become an object of fear. A supper tray that will not be touched. A hammer, a mute scrawl crying for help. From these elements, director Aldridge will fashion an experience of sophisticated suspense. It is a form constructed piece by piece with infinite care, skill, and the arts of many. It starts with a book, a novel entitled, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? Picture possibilities? Aldridge thinks so. A script is written, the possibilities are confirmed. Work begins breaking down the script. From this come production sketches, then blueprints, then scale models on which action will be plotted. The sets rise, duplicating the location that will be used for exteriors. The picture moves into rehearsal. Two stars, two Academy Award winners. Joan Crawford is Blanche Hudson. Betty Davis is Jane Hudson here applying the finishing touches to her uh, unusual makeup for the role. 23rd day of filming on Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, Wednesday, August 22nd. 58,000 feet of film have been exposed. 222 scenes have been performed, filmed, and printed from an average of three times as many angles. Director Aldridge outlines the action of scenes 223, 4, 5, 6, and 7 for cast and crew on location. And we will see just a part of this one day shooting comparatively simple scene between Jane Hudson and an unexpected arrival. First, the high angle. Aldrich and the camera operator on the 20-foot parallel. The camera is hauled up. Each time before the camera rolls, focus, light, action, sound, and a hundred other technicalities are corrected. The director and star, Betty Davis, rehearse the scene. Each move, each turn and gesture is probed, altered, re-questioned. Finally set. At last, the call for silence and action. The shot is on film. One of the thousands of pieces that will go together to build this motion picture. Aldrich describes the next shot to cameraman Ernest Haller, an Academy Award winner himself. This is the setup and the take. The script supervisors make note of every statistic, time and record each scene. Now with the camera on the bumper of the car shooting through the windshield, Aldrich cues the action. The new angle is checked, there are doubts. Checks, changes, decisions, the call for quiet. The sound mixer records scene and take number. The microphone boom swings in. The camera is rolling. 226, take three. Quiet. Action. I thought I told you not to come back until next week. Oh, I know you did, but I had a free day today, so I thought I'd come by and see if there's anything needed doing. Well, there isn't anything, so you could have saved yourself the trouble. Oh, don't worry. You'll be paid for today. I'll send you a check. 
I'm not worried about any pay. I'd just like to see Miss Blanche before I go. Well, you can't. She's asleep. Anyway, go. You're fired. And we move to the next scene. Actor Victor Buono has been rehearsing with Anna Lee and the dialogue coach. His shot is planned. Camera is set up. And soon, rolling again. So, a motion picture is made. This one with a question for a title. Whatever happened to Baby Jane? It is made amid curious and noisy crowds and the dazzling light on the California beach. In the dark of a Los Angeles side street. From every conceivable angle, piece by painstaking piece, the art and skill combined to make the story, the characters, the magic that conjures up an image of suspense. 